let me hear you sing. So how did that, the idea for this come about? <laughs> <laughs> like all good ideas, the idea for this came about out of her, uh, uh, drinks after rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to convince Lodge to let me invite uh, a friend of mine, a uh, wonderful conductor and composer Gordon Hamilton, who is the artistic director of the Australian Voices, who are Excellent, excellent, world-renowned choir. The Uber Vacons, like, like watching over, off garden tasks. Uber Tragons, actually, I don't know what that means. At that stage, Gordon suggested we make, make a video. I think we kind of thought it was a great idea and didn't actually plan anything then. Yeah. Um, but then, on one of the nights after rehearsal, uh, we were sitting around with some choristers, some other friends of ours, um, having a beer after rehearsal, we're kind of end of the day. Uh, it just so happened that a whole bunch of people in this conversation were having happened to be German speakers. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Yeah, it sounded really good, doesn't it? We're kind of having this nerdy conversation about how German just like throws words together and calls it one word. And so someone looked up the long list German word and we found that out. And I think just in this moment, Gordon and I looked at each other and we're like, that's the composition I did, <laughs> and it's the video. It just was so obvious in that moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. But we took it to the choir the next morning, and people were keen, and and thus the longest German word. <laughs> yeah. The music video was born. Um, <laughs> oh, we took each word that, that is within this word, um, and we split the choir into little groups, and each group had to work out some musical composition idea of how that word was going to be. Uh, so two altos came up with. G -g 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 gazettes yeah. um, as gazettes uh, and you know uh, I think Imogen and Eldon I think came yeah. up with, but Alf Garben came up with Alf Garben uh, and they were very specific that that should have crazy eyes and a crescendo through the air <laughs> um, and so people came up with hilarious and very creative things and like kind of serendipitous emphasis on weird consonant mutations yeah. or, like playing with kind of the consonants in German yeah. um, and so what we did was we all split up and we worked on those and then we all kind of gathered around the piano with Gordon and Gordon kind of had a bash and made a melody out of it together. <laughs> and then Gordon went and wrote some harmony for us and then the very next day uh, we rehearsed it with the choir and then that afternoon we were filming a video. by myself as a jazz singer and I never ever ever get the same feeling that I get when I sing with other people because you can't make harmonies by yourself mm. you can't rely on other people to make this type of sound that you can make when you're in an ensemble yeah. which is really great and community choirs are even better because you see people who don't even realize that that's a possibility What I'd really love to see is if Lodge Choir can be a part of the beginnings of getting choir and music making part of what's happening at ANU in the halls of colleges. In the same way that drama so is, lots of the colleges have annual musicals um, or annual plays, but not permanent music ensembles. Um, and I would love it if Lodge Choir started to kind of raise the profile of choir in the residences and the quality of the music that's being made. Just on that, um, I learned yesterday, fun fact, um, that a lot of people had heard about Lodge Choir being a permanent choir and had now like, felt a bit of competition. And so now Bergman has a permanent choir and Bruce has a permanent choir 
which I find that's awesome. Amazing. I'm gonna take credit for that. Yeah, exactly. We did that. Exactly. We did that. But like, if that means that people are doing more singing all the time, mm -hmm. the people involved in this, if more people can discover what what I find yeah. so incredible in music making, I think that's a really positive thing for the A and E community generally. For the people that we're working with, I would love to leave people with um, a love of music that stays with them. That people. Well, you know, people leave Lodge all the time and they'll leave Lodge, I hope, with a love for choral singing that they'll take with them, that they will kind of discover new music they listen to and wherever they go look for a choir to join, that's something that they take with them forever. Um, so I hope to leave that mark on people as individuals, but I also really, really love for Lodge Choir to be a group that lives beyond our time at Lodge, um, that is taken up by someone equally passionate, um, that's skilled enough to keep it working kind of on an upward slope. my dream. I want Lodge Choir to be the draw card for Uni Lodge. Oh, I look stupid when I sing. <laughs> <laughs> so you get all the time. <laughs>